Hey guys, welcome back to the Nivani Herbals YouTube channel. And today's topic that I want to talk about is friends. Yep, your day ones, your gang gang, your girls, your squad, your A1 day ones. Let's talk about them. I hear females all the time say like, oh, this girl got a hundred friends like she must be fake because there's no way somebody has that many friends like and then I hear on the other hand somebody say this girl don't have no female friends she obviously can't be trusted because what's wrong with her that she can't keep no friends like something must be wrong with her and I just want to say like Everybody's in different stages of their lives. Everybody doesn't relate to each other in the same way. There's different levels of friendships. There's friends that you just go out with. There's friends that you know you go on play dates with. There's friends that you can really confide in. Like there's levels to this stuff. And so y'all need to stop being so judgmental. So let's just keep it real. Some of our friendships were not built on authentic loving kind foundations uh some of our friendships are actually what we call trauma bonds so what exactly is a trauma bond a trauma bond is when a person and another person or a person and a object or a person in anything outside of themselves they bond and the foundation of their bond is that this person is looking towards this to grant it security, love, approval, validation, something that this person feels like they're already missing within themselves. And a lot of times we form friendships at our level of trauma. So let's talk about a real life example that i can relate to and that you probably can relate to okay so say you're going through that phase in life where you like the bad boys you like the drama in the relationship your dude got girls calling his phone um just the whole getting into it on social media with other females he's lying to you all of this stuff you got a toxic relationship basically and then you meet this girl and she has a similar situation going on with her dude. So y'all form a friendship based on that. Or even you don't like this person and then this person over here, your new friend, they don't like the same person. So now y'all friends based on that. And so that's not a real friendship. What that's called is a trauma bond. And you are looking basically for validation from this person based on this toxic outside situation. So basically, that's what I wanna talk about in this video, how we confuse trauma bonds with real relationships and real friendships. And if you are in this traumatic phase or this situation for a very long time, you can stay trauma bonded to this person for a very long time and that can make it even more confusing as to if this is a real friendship or not because by this time they didn't met your kids they didn't been there for you when you were down and out you've been this is your go-to person if you want to kick your boyfriend's door in this is your homegirl she's riding period this is your friend she knows all your business like she been to your mama's house this is your home skillet biscuit y'all gonna be in it for life right no <laughs> so what happens is this something might happen that triggers you to want to shift so you might break up with your dude or you might um go off somewhere for a little bit like a vacation or you might see be exposed to another way of life and you might actually see like healthy relationships and want that for yourself or your priorities might change you might start healing finding your self-worth finding your self value um just finding yourself and you come into that person and what you used to value 
you don't value anymore your your internal identity has changed so what does that mean for your friendship this can cause a problem in your friendship if it's not a real friendship if it's a trauma bond so let me tell y'all like my personal experience with this so i used to have a whole bunch of friends let me tell you how many friends i have i don't know but just know i my phone was blowing up every day anytime you see me i was on the phone talking to somebody i was always out i had a really big social life like a lot of people knew me i was pretty popular and i had a group of friends i had individual friends like just i was never bored let's just say that when i started to come into myself and started to heal certain things like one thing that i used to trauma bond real bad about or real bad on was toxic relationships so if I had a toxic relationship and my friend had a toxic relationship, we had something to talk about. We had things to relate on. But as soon as I got rid of that dude and I couldn't relate to what she was going through anymore, the friendship fell apart. And that happened to me. Eventually, I got tired of dealing with toxic relationships and I really wanted like to have a healthy relationship. I had a kid and I really wanted to be with somebody that I felt would be a good male role model to my daughter. I wanted somebody that I could possibly have more kids with, maybe get married, like without all the traumatizing betrayal and just insecurity in the relationship. I just wanted a peaceful, nice, happy home for me and my kids. That's what I started to want. I didn't want to deal with side chicks and arguing on Facebook with other girls and catching him do stuff and then crying and then taking them back and then telling my friends about it. And then she's like, oh yeah, my, did, my dude did that too. And then we go out and we go to the bar and we talk stuff about um, our dudes over a couple drinks and that was the basis of our friendship. I didn't want that anymore. So what I found was after I started to heal myself, after I cut off those toxic relationships and situations that I was going through, I started to love myself more. I started to find the little quirks and crannies about myself that I, I liked. And that's when everything just went downhill. So what started to happen was this. Um, those little things and tweaks and twerks that I found interesting, my friends didn't really think were cool. They thought I was weird. Um, also, when I started to try to set boundaries and say, hey, like, I don't want to talk about that no more. Let's talk about something else. Let's talk about getting our businesses started. Let's talk about our careers, like talk about our kids, setting up funds and stuff for them. Like, they didn't want to talk about that. Like, that didn't interest them. Or even if I started to take my emotional health more seriously and tell them like hey you really hurt my feelings when you said that or you know try to improve our communication style my friend would be like well you're oversensitive you need to stop like <laughs> calm down like it was never that serious like and just dismiss my feelings and just a whole pattern and stuff like that i found myself like not wanting to answer their calls or they wouldn't answer my calls and or we would get into it and they would cut me off or I would cut them off. And basically the friendships started to unravel. And I found myself in this really weird space because it was like, dang, like I'm trying to better myself. I want good things for me and my kids. Like I want healthy friendships. I want healthy relationships with other people. And I'm trying to do that. And it seems like I'm losing everybody. And if you have like underlying abandonment issues, this could really trigger you, like starting to lose friends. That could really start to trigger your abandonment issues. So um, I went inside, I started to address those abandonment issues and I started to be okay with like being by myself, being, enjoying myself, enjoying my own company. And like out of nowhere, like people start gravitating towards me that were actually healthy. People who have this limited belief, like no new friends, that's crap for real. Like get that out your head because it's those new friends that have met me where I was at that support my business, support my kids, support my relationship, like support me as a person. 
all the little unique things about me, they support it, they love it, they think it's cool. And I would have never found that if I was stuck in the mindset of no new friends, A1 day ones, blah, blah, blah. Like I would have never been able to build really healthy relationships with other females. I would have been stuck in this mindset of, oh, I hate females. I can only be friends with males because females is grimy and all of these other little beliefs I had about other women. Don't get me wrong. I still have some A1 day ones that I've been friends with for over 20 years, but I also was able to clear out some of my trauma bond friendships and make room for some really healthy connections, really healthy friends, really healthy boundaries, really supportive people to come into my life. And I had to really break down and set a level of standard within myself and what I was going to allow into my life in order to get that. And I was going to have to sit with myself for a while and be okay with being alone for a while until the right people came to my life. Anybody can't just be my friend anymore. I have a level of standard and a level of values that these people that are in my life have to meet. And it's really, it's a really beautiful thing. It really looks good as it unfolds. So the point that I really want to get across to everybody in this video is that in order to get real friendships and not trauma bonds, you have to work on you. You have to work on healing your trauma and you have to work on setting your standard of self-love and self-worth because then that spills over and other people know how to approach you. They know the real you. You're not putting on this fake mask trying to kick it with them like you are really you and that authenticity is just like this bright light and people gravitate towards that so if you want real friendships in your life long lasting beautiful connections with other women you have to work on yourself and that's just period that's the first step that is it everything comes from that and yeah this video was not to shade any of my old friends. I really do wish you guys well. I really do. Um, but y'all know this happened. This is the truth. This is what happened. And it's okay. It happens. We're not perfect and we evolve over time and you lose people and it's just life. Um, so with that being said, please don't forget to subscribe. We will have more videos on topics concerning herbs, mental health, and self-care like this one today you don't want to miss out every tuesday and friday i will be uploading about these topics so please share this video and subscribe don't forget okay thank you